Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Big Slam back again for you. Hopefully, you're all having a great day. Whatever day you're watching this video, I hope it's a good one. We got some Black Ops 3 beta footage, obviously, going on in the background. This is from the PS4. And I really didn't think I had a lot of footage from the beta because a lot of it was laggy or something, you know, something along those lines happened. But I did find this gameplay. It wasn't laggy at all or anything like that. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. I'm using the Razorback, the Glitch Specialist, and mid-level score streaks. The highest one being the Rolling Thunder, which I'm going to talk about towards the end of this video. But the real reason I wanted to revisit Rejack was because I've changed my mind about it. In a previous video, I said I really didn't have a problem with Rejack. Even before the nerf, I didn't have a problem with it at all. To me, it was just like getting a free kill. Now, I will say, the first couple times I ran into this specialist ability in the game, I actually stopped mid-game when I first saw it and was like, what the hell is going on in there? What's happening? I had no freaking clue. Even seeing it in previous gameplays before the beta released, I couldn't put it two and two together, and I just kind of stood there like an idiot. And the guy popped out of the smoke and killed me. And then I was like, oh, that's the rejack. All right, now that I've seen it, I know what's going on. So later on, it was just a free kill. Keep shooting in the smoke, no problem. But I did watch somebody else's video that made me change my mind. And he said many things in this video, but the one thing he said really stuck with me. And it was from... It was JD from NY's video, The Community of Hypocrites. And I love the title, by the way. That's a great title. Because <laughs> I kind of feel the same way he does. But uh, the one thing he did say was, you should never be rewarded in Call of Duty for dying. And that's exactly what that specialist ability did. You kept everything intact. Your score streak was intact. I think you even got ammo. I think you got a full clip or whatever. I used it maybe once or twice. I really didn't. I don't care for it. I'll probably never use it if they leave it in the game. But now that it's gotten nerfed or neutered, as I like to call it, because it is useless now. And that's what really split the community up as well. Is Oh, well, now it's useless. What's the point of it even being in the game? So maybe they should just take it out of the game and put something else in there as a specialist ability. I don't know if that's possible. I'm not a game developer, obviously. All right. But uh, I don't know if it's possible at all for them to do something that drastic this late in the game. Maybe they will, or maybe it'll just be in there nerfed and we have to deal with it. Now, I know Search and Destroy players are either going to love it or going to hate it because it's just 6v6 of Rejack in a Search and Destroy lobby. Now, I don't play Search and Destroy, so that won't bother me at all. But for you Search and Destroy players, that's going to suck. 6v6, got to kill everybody twice, basically, once they get their specialist ability. But... That's really all I have to say about Rejack, but uh, anyway, I w did want to talk about the Rolling Thunder score streak in this game, because Black Ops 1, that was my favorite score streak in that game. Just devastation from that kill streak, but uh, in this game, it's quite the opposite, alright? I got two kills in this gameplay with the Rolling Thunder, and that's two more kills than I got playing the, the whole beta and calling that thing in, like, I don't know, eight times or something like that. I killed myself more. Then I got kills with it, man, <laughs> because it takes so long for that damn score streak to come in. I forget I even called it in, and I run at, run into the middle of the map, and I die. <laughs> so I would like to see that time cut down a little bit. I think they have to, because otherwise, what's the point of running that score streak? It's not that it's like the a very high score streak, but it does cost a lot of points to get that, so... It's not like getting a UAV or anything like that. I mean, uh, you got to put in over a thousand points or something along those lines, I do believe. I don't remember exactly, man, and I don't care to look it up. All I'm saying is it's a higher score streak that you should be able to do some serious damage with. So hopefully the time gets cut in half, but we'll see what happens with that. Anyway, I think this game was fun. I don't know if it was the honeymoon phase of it. But I had a great time with it, and it looks like a Call of Duty that I'll be able to play throughout the whole life cycle of the game. So I'm really looking forward to its release. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section about Rejack. I know it's kind of a dead topic now, but I did want to address it a little bit. But uh, either Rejack or the Rolling Thunder score streak, put it in the comment section. I'd love to see your thoughts on that. I almost forgot. I did want to tell you guys what my plans are for Black Ops 3. And I think it's going to be pretty awesome. So hopefully you guys will enjoy these videos. But I do want to do like a live series of a Road to Prestige Master or something along those lines. Hopefully that's something you guys would want to watch. And uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy 
But uh, anyway, if you made it this far into the video, I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. And hopefully I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.